right, guys, I got a box from Juice Beauty. The light come out. Come out light. It's just really, really bright. You guys remember when I showed you all of these awesome products from Juice Beauty in a PR haul? Well, here's a video where I test them all out for you guys. This is very thorough. I'm going to go through each product. Some I love, some I don't, but that's the point of reviews. So if you're interested, let's get straight to the review. Hey guys, it seems like it's been forever since I've been on camera. I am straight back from my little cousin's graduation. So I said, let me go ahead and do this video that's that's the reason why I have on no makeup and I have my glasses on. Um, as you guys saw in the intro, I have been having these products from Juice Beauty and have been dying to test them. And so I'm just going to go through them really quick. The first thing I will be showing you I am actually wearing, it is their Photo Pigment Sheer Lip Gloss, okay? And this is the box that it came in. And the color is 01 Shimmer. It is just a very pretty very light brown with um, let me see silver flecks in it and I am wearing it right now so let me zoom in so you guys can see as you guys can see it is very sheer um, this is what the container looked like and what it looks like now what I will say about this is I did wear it another day this is very very um, thin it's not sticky at all there is no stickiness to it let me like I was saying it is not sticky at all but, you know, for the company name to be Juice Beauty, I don't know why I was thinking it was going to have like a fruity, juicy-like scent. Mm -mm. It has like that natural, organic, woodsy, grassy type scent to it, okay? And you have to be careful applying this because what I did notice is throughout the day, it will build up right here. Oh my gosh, you guys know that looks so disgusting. So, do not put four or five layers on and you'll be good. So... That's my take on this lip gloss, okay? Okay, guys, so I went ahead and put that in my contact so we can get down with the nitty-gritty, okay? A lot of this stuff is skincare, so let's see what we have. This is a stem, stem cellular cleansing oil. Softens and purifies dissolved makeup, okay? So I guess we can test this afterwards to see if it works. This right here is a stem cellular instant eye lift. Immediate visible results reduces the appearance of wrinkles, smooth, and hydrates. So we can do this before makeup, okay? Just trying to see what all we got. We got a green apple peel and it's full strength, smooths and firms. So we're gonna do this before makeup. And we have a foundation, a powder, and another lip product, okay? So let's just go ahead and start with what we're gonna do before foundation. I'm going to um, tie my hair up and let's get to it. Y'all ready? <laughs> so the oil and the face mask, it's nighttime. So we're going to wait to do that after we take our makeup off, okay? So let's start with the soft lifting instant. I can't read backwards. Eye lift, okay? So this is what you have. You have six valves over here and you have six eye masks. And you guys know... You know, for my pamper day routine, I love me some eye masks, okay? So, this is what they look like. And you know, you see these a lot, but most companies, they already have the ingredients and stuff in them. You just put them on, but with this one, you have to actually do it yourself. So, what we're going to do is just peel back. It's three easy steps. You just peel this back right here, okay? And so, you get one of these and open it up. And we're just going to activate it. So you just open it. If I can get it open. And you just pour it all over the mask. Saturate them really, really good. Get in there, get in there. Okay. So they're going to turn into like this jelly-like substance. Okay. And so after you do that. You apply them under your eye, and we're going to let them sit for 10 minutes, okay? And we're going to see if we got some instant eye lift, okay? <laughs> okay, so the masks are very fragile, so be careful. I broke off the whole end of this one. It's like right here. 
So be very careful with that. And as you can see, it looks like I'm crying. It's running down my face. But well, I'll be back in 10 minutes. So while we wait on the eye mask to do their thing, um, I thought I would share with you guys the perks of this line is that it's organic, all organic, okay? A lot of people are into organic right now, especially with everything causing cancer. So that's one of the main perks of this cosmetic line, okay? Okay, so we're just going to remove these. very hydrating I would say the only disadvantage is these leak the entire time you're wearing them but hey I guess there's something you can deal with okay guys so what I will say from the eye mask is that my eyes do feel very soft up under here and smooth um, almost like they have a film over them or something but there's nothing there they just feel really soft and smooth okay so I guess if you have a lot of under eye wrinkles and etc that will be really good to smooth them out but I have dark circles, but I don't have like a lot of under eye wrinkles to really, really test it out, okay? So we're going to move straight into the Juice Beauty uh, Flawless Serum Foundation. You guys know the whole serum water-based foundation thing is really big right now. And they sent me the color Tawny. And if you guys saw my unboxing, it was a PR unboxing, I showed this and was like, I don't know, I don't know you guys, so let me shake it up. I always shake foundation up um, even when it's brand new shake it shake it shake it you guys and let everything in it activate okay like yeah so I'm just gonna pump a little bit on my hand I know this is not the right color because you guys know I really like to look warm you guys know I like to look warm and this is the color this is like oh my gosh way so light on me it's like what I would use to highlight. So I'm trying to see if I want to try this. Let's just do it, you guys. Of course, since it is a serum foundation, um, it's very fluid. I would say watery, but it's very fluid. It's like really, really, it's not thick at all. So what I'm going to do is get a brush and apply this all over. Of course, it's not going to be the color. Who knows? It might trick me. Let's see. Okay, you guys. So let's go for it. Oh, it's running everywhere, okay? It looks like it would almost match my inner color because you guys know nobody is all one color, right? So, I'm just going to apply this. And you guys are probably like, what the heck are you doing? But, good thing is the website has darker shades, okay? okay obviously this is not working for me it's too light good thing is there are a few more shades after this so that's not a problem I would be really nervous if this was the deepest shade another thing is I'm oily so this is already pulling really dewy oily like on my skin which is almost expected out of a serum based foundation okay but it's just it's not my type of coverage it's very lightweight and I need full coverage because I have hyperpigmentation um it feels more like a um CCBB type cream there's not that much coverage to it you guys but I'm gonna keep going okay because I have hope I have hope so next let's test the flawless press powder and let's just hope that this powder can bring a little bit more color back into my face um, because right now this is not getting it honey so very pretty packaging and I showed you guys this powder before but here's the thing it broke when I showed it to you guys in my haul video it actually broke so I have to be careful how I show it to you guys so see this powder is my color and it's in tawny also this was quite confusing to me so let's just apply this powder so I'm just gonna go in with a flat top kabuki and see what we can make happen
I don't, I don't even know what to do. Okay guys, so I thought adding the powder will bring a little bit more color back to my face. And it's not. So we're not going to proceed. Because I don't want to give this company a bad review all based on the fact that I have the wrong color. So there's no point in continuing to powder that stuff on. And it's not working for me. So let's just try some of their skincare products. So what I'm going to use is the um, Dissolve Makeup Remover. And go ahead and start removing this. Now it come in a... This is what it looked like. You have a pump that's always good for skincare. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just pat this in with my fingers to dissolve the makeup. And then I'm going to have to go to a sink and take it off um, with warm water. So, yeah, I'm kind of bummed, you guys. I, I really don't like doing reviews if I don't have a lot of negative to, I mean, a lot of positive. If I don't have a lot of positive to serve. And it's like I can't give this brand a fair opportunity because that foundation and stuff was not right. So it's very obvious that it is melting this off. That it is melting my makeup off. I love these kind of bums. You just rub into your skin, bums and oils. It melts the makeup off for you and cleanses the skin at the same time. And then you just take like a, this is a makeup remover cloth that I use to wipe swatches with or in this case it says take a warm towel but I'm just gonna see and yeah it took everything right off and that has a great fresh scent to it okay so let me wipe the rest of this off okay guys I was so bummed about the foundation I forgot to show you guys the liquid lip it's a liquid lipstick and it's not a matte liquid lipstick so kinda like the black china liquid lipsticks that I show you guys all the time and this color right here is in Chelsea. And it's like this burgundy-ish um, deep plum. And so let's just see what this look like on the lips. It has that same natural scent. It's very lightweight also. very lightweight and very pigmented I could say that I would just have to get used to the scent on my lips okay the last thing we're gonna try is the green apple peel it smooths and firms you put it on leave it on for 10 minutes and you wipe it off okay um, kind of like a face mask and this is what it looked like let me give you guys a quick smell test it actually smells smells like pickles to me for whatever reason but this is the texture of it and you just put it all over your face and leave it on for 10 minutes so I'm gonna start the process and it says put a good amount so I'm just gonna start the process and then I'll be back with my final results guys so here's the rundown the eye lift um, it smooths and hydrates and reduces the appearance of wrinkles I would highly recommend this. This did exactly that, okay? Um, like I said, I couldn't really test the wrinkle part, but it did smooth and it, it really, really hydrated under my eye, okay? So, love that. That's the skincare. I also love the liquid lipstick. Very pigmented, okay? That's the one that was like that um, plum color. Of course, I love the sheer lip gloss. Love that also. I'm actually going to put that in my purse. Because it was, you know, I love it when lip glosses are not sticky. It was just perfect. I um, also love the cleansing oil. So let's get into what I did not like. Of course, the apple mask because it burns so much. Um, what is in here? I can't really see right now. The lights blind me a little bit to where I can't read little lighting. I mean, writing. But, um, yeah. Couldn't test that. I'm sorry, you guys. And... I didn't get any thrills out of the powder or the foundation either and that's not because of the color it's because I just didn't like the formula okay so I say uh, four items I loved and three I did not okay so it seemed like I'm more on the skincare end of juice beauty um, I'll accept this apple peel of course 
And yeah, that's my review, you guys. Thanks for watching.